Do you believe Kevin McAllister? Um, meh. I don't know. It's hard for me to believe any celebrity anymore. Well, he was home alone. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you pull all, see all the slick shit he pulled off, man. If, if somebody's gonna lie to you, it's gonna be him. Uh, you got, you he know. didn't lie. He he had a defense, bro. Yeah. Are you kidding me? All, all the shit he did in New York on his dad's credit card. That's what I'm saying. That, do you think he'd let Michael Jackson do something to him when he fucked up those criminals like that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a hard situation, and it's something I have to put up with. Now listen to this. I have to tell you this, okay? So after I left the party, and the next day I smoked weed with Michael, and then I get I get in the limousine and I leave. I get back to the Sheraton Hotel at Universal over here. There's four FBI agents waiting for me in the hotel room, and my mom's there and she's like, "Tell them what happened," and I'm like, "What do you mean, tell them what happened?" And I sit down with them and they all get assies super sexually exploiting, you know, questions. I said, are y'all crazy? I said, what you think I'm going to do? Tell you that Michael did something bad so that we, we can sue him for money? That's what I told him. I was like, you're crazy. And I looked over at my mom and I was like, are you serious, mom? I was like, what is going on here? Why are you letting this happen? And she goes, she goes, well, she goes, oh, well, I think something happened. You know, I think something. I'm like, Really? That man did nothing but be hospitable, kind, loving, yeah. giving. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Guy. I am Danny. It's everything... And we got David back with us one more time. Burr, burr, burr. Hello. Hello. Say say hi, David. Hi. So what, what do you like? Do you like like long walks on the beach? Turtles. Today we're going to, this is a dating episode. We're going to try to get David a date. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm kidding. Right. He's already taken. Sorry, ladies. What's his He's name? already taken. <laughs> Dan. Oh, <laughs> shit. Shit. What do you got playing in the background there, bud? Oh, you know, I, I, I like to reminisce once in a while on days of better pasts. And, um, you know, <laughs> sometimes I like to think about guys who uh, have been accused of touching kids. Who absolutely didn't, though. Today, we're going to be talking about Michael Jackson. Absolutely didn't. I'm pretty sure HBO, Netflix... Hulu, somebody put out a documentary explaining exactly Netflix. how he did it. Yeah, Leaving Neverland. That's how that's 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 strike one how you know it's all bullshit because that platform put it out. You're saying So what they say? Hold on. They said he was a kid toucher. Yeah, you ever seen Leaving Neverland? I never I saw it. Okay. I I swear you just I didn't talked see about it. it. Yeah, I, I knew You just talked about it. I knew of it, but I never watched it. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, gonna disrespect. How do you believe? How do you believe he did it then? I mean, he, I mean, what? You get a feeling about people, you know. I, I, have a I didn't get a feeling about most celebrities, and now I know most of the top ones are a bunch of chomos. So, the one that I thought was, I don't think is, and the ones I didn't think were, I think are, hmm. with evidence that they are. Hmm. Well, I'm excited for this. <laughs> Buckle up. Well, we just did two other Chomo episodes, so we might as well do one debunking Chomo. Debunk yeah. the Chomos. Mm. Debunking mm. a Chomo. Mm. All right. Uh, so based off of everything that's said, do you think he's he was a Chomo then, right, T? Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think we were all struck by a smooth criminal. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think? I think he's innocent. All right, so we got one that thinks he did it, one that thinks he's innocent, and one that is almost positive he's innocent. So, going to try to show D some shit today. <laughs> surprise, like surprise. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. 
All right. Uh, let's start it off with the uh, Chomo stuff. Wade Robson was my first witness. Wade Robson, before I start this, Wade Robson is the one on ne Leaving Neverland that accused Michael Jackson of... Did you? That's why they made the documentary. Did, He's the star of it. Did you watch it? Leaving Neverland? Yeah. Years years ago. Years ago. And I I believed Michael Jackson was back then. You thought he was uh Chomo. <clears throat> That's when I believed the media and all their bullshit. Oh. I believed he was, yeah. Oh, good. Wade Robson was my first witness in Michael Jackson's criminal trial. And I had to think long and hard about whether we even needed to put on a defense case because the cross-examination of prosecution witnesses went very well. But I decided to put on a case. And when you do that, you want to start strong and you want to end strong. I started with one of my strongest witnesses for Michael Jackson, Wade Robson. He was adamant that he had never been touched, never been molested, never been abused, directly or indirectly. I called his mother and sister as witnesses to corroborate what he said because they traveled on these tours too. You know, I've slept in the same bed as Michael. It's just you watch cartoons, you fall asleep. You know, it's just a friendship. And I know he would never do anything to hurt my brother. He's just, he's the nicest guy you've ever met. I've been there when uh, the, these kids have been in Michael's room. I've been there with them. It's just party time. They watch videos, they eat junk food, they play video games. That sounds nice. Yeah. There's nothing more to it than that. And to have him suddenly reverse course so radically years after Michael Jackson has passed away and can't speak up for himself is outrageous. But he Wade Robson did swear under oath. Ray, Wade Robson, I put him on as my witness, right. and he was subjected to a withering cross-examination by Prosecutor Ron Zonin from the Santa Barbara District Attorney's Office. I mean, Ron went after him, and Ron's a good prosecutor. He would not waver. He was adamant he was never touched. So to suddenly come back years later and say we want millions of dollars, we were brainwashed, we had repressed memories, we didn't face the facts. We didn't deal with reality. I just find very, very suspicious. Jackson family points out to us that your story's changed after Michael's death, is what they're saying. Mm. Um, they also believe that if he were still alive, you all would not be sitting here talking to us right now. Mm -hmm. There would be no movie. There would be no documentary. You would not be talking. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? And he can't defend himself, of course, because he's no longer here. Right. Um, this, this isn't the... F other kids have come forward when he was alive. What do you think about that so far? That he, under oath, sw was the defendant on the first case where Michael was accused. And saying that there's no possible way Michael did anything. And now he's the one trying to swim for millions. Made the Leaving Neverland documentary. It was all about that guy, Wade Robson. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it's pretty interesting. It's, I mean, it's, it's all it's, money grab. Yeah, it's it sounds like bullshit so far. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, here's the first kid that uh, and that that other guy was like. There was other guys that came out while he was alive. Let's see the first uh, accuser. Meanwhile, CBS obtained a secretly taped phone conversation allegedly between the father of the boy who accused Jackson of sexual abuse and the boy's stepfather. Listen to this. This man is going to be humiliated beyond belief. He yeah. will not believe it. He will not believe what's going to happen. Yeah. Beyond, beyond his worst nightmares, he one more record. If I go through with this, I win big time. I will get everything I want. They will be destroyed forever. Jackson's private investigator says the tapes prove that Jackson is telling the truth about his accusers just wanting money. The, the, them accusing him of just the most horrible things. Yes. This kid's father has committed suicide because he, right. he just couldn't take it. And now the kid has come forth and said, Michael never touched him. That's right. <laughs> father of a boy who back in the early 1990s in a highly publicized case you probably remember accused Michael Jackson of molesting him. Well that father committed suicide in Jersey. The biggest victim of all may have been Michael Jackson himself. Following five months of investigation and interviewing 50 people associated with the case, GQ senior writer Mary A. Fisher answers the question, did Michael do it? Her response, a resounding no. In fact, he was framed and that he himself was the victim and of a carefully conceived plan to extract money from him. Fisher claims that Evan Chandler, whose son alleges the abuse, gathered the molestation stories from the boy during a highly irregular session while using a drug which often creates false memories. 
It was only after he was given this drug in Mr. Chandler's office, dental office, that he came out with the allegations against Michael Jackson. Before that, he had said nothing wrong had ever happened. GQ reports that Jackson's image was severely damaged by lurid tales told by the singer's former employees. Fisher states that during paid tabloid newspaper and television appearances, these people alleged sexual misconduct, while under oath, they dropped the charges. They acknowledged that they had never seen Michael Jackson do anything. I think she says anything wrong. So there's the first <clears throat> kid debunked that accused him in like 91, 92, something like that. So they pulled the oh. double uno reverse skip card on you. What? It's fucking reverse skip back to me. Double uno. Watch. Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> so the first kid was debunked. The new kids for leaving Neverland. We're going to poke holes all through their bullshit story. Um, what do you think about the first kid? Lying piece of There's shit. There's actually... There's actually tons of uh, more of the recordings from the father who's going into more detail about how he's going to fuck Michael Jackson over. And like that whole family was screwed up. Well, it's yeah. the parents that are <clears throat> pushing yeah. forward for money. That's the. Yep. He leaves himself open for. He's an easy target because he's a weirdo. He's. That's another very thing. Very odd looking. He's, he, his actions are things what? that we, we can't fathom what so, so he leaves himself open to be sued in multiple ways here's a question huh go ahead what were you gonna say he's not a weird looking no. <laughs> so do I, you I, what, hold on. one of those videos looked like he didn't even have a nose uh, okay so uh what did you think okay. michael jackson what do you guys think he did to his skin um, what were you told growing up they said he bleached his skin yes, yeah i believe yes. sammy sosa did that shit yeah, he had vitiligo. It mean it's it's where you get white patches on your skin, not peach, white patches on your I skin. And that's why he started wearing one glove cuz it was getting bad. And he had they had to paint his skin brown and then he the patches were getting so bad and getting on his face and stuff that they went the other way and painted it uh made, put makeup on him to turn him pure white. Like he didn't bleach his skin ever. Ever ever. And he was in a Pepsi commercial in ninety or eighty six or eighty four, and they dropped a uh, light on him. That you ever seen the stupid Eminem video where Michael Jackson running around with the ha- with his hair on fire? Yeah, that, that really that's a, happened. That's a real f- yeah, yeah, that really happened. Yeah. So he was wearing wigs, and the 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 damage was so bad that he was still in pain for like the rest of his life from the scarring. It would still hurt him. So he was wearing wigs from eighty four on. So he had straight hair. He had vitiligo. So they were saying that he was bleaching his skin because he wasn't proud to be black. He didn't want to be black. And he also broke his nose during the Pepsi commercial. And they fucked up the nose job. So he kept having to have new surgeries on his nose. And what the tabloids say? That he did it to him. That he's a whack job and he keeps changing his nose. And his nose is going to fall off and all this other shit. These are things that happened to him. A lot of people think he was. they tried to assassinate him in 84. Because it dropped right on his head, like directly on his head. They think people think they they tried to kill him. What fell on his head? Like a light. Really? Yeah. Jeez. There's a video of his hair on fire. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and he did a, he did the the twist and put it out. Yeah, yeah, super spin move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So him being a weirdo is ridiculous. And then also, he was a singer since he was five. So he didn't have a normal childhood. He couldn't play with other kids. He couldn't do shit. So when people say he's a weirdo because he liked hanging out with kids, it's because he didn't have a childhood. Well, he also got his, got his ass whooped pretty good. Yeah, his dad beat the shit out of him yeah. all the time. Just enough, though. Very very <laughs> odd character. Definitely. Do you think it's weird to have uh, you know, children sleeping in your bed? That's why I say like it's we're, we're really getting in, we're getting into the children sleeping in his bed. I thing know his too. bed was probably the size of a football field, you know, and his bedroom we're, was like two stories high. There's more like this next clip when we go over the second yeah, accuser. They, they said that his his bedroom was the size of a like a regular house. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin said it's like yeah. two floors, but we go into him too. Here's the second accuser, just like Michael. We go into him, just like who? Michael. Huh. You said we go into him. We go into him. 
Oh, going to Michael. You're gross. Enter. Old Gavin and his brother and sister. Gavin met Jackson two years ago after he'd been told he was dying of cancer. Isn't that great? Not sick at all. No more cancer. He never had it. He's a liar. To plan for his funeral because there was no chance. They told him to plan for his funeral. They told he wasn't gonna grow. He wasn't gonna be able to have kids. He was—he had growth spurts during chemotherapy. I went from four foot ten to five foot four. See, liar. My children and me know what rejection is. To be neglected, to be spit on, to be talked about. To be made an outsider only because of our status in life or what we were going through. And Michael did not have that. He said, Come to him, not just Gavin, but Star and Davelin and me, and called us his family. And Gavin was the one that asked him, Could I call you daddy? And Michael said, of course. And so through him, it sparked Star and Gav and Davlin calling him Daddy Michael. Very innocent and beautiful relationship, which everyone has spun it out of control. He's a very loving, caring, humble man. He took us under his wing when nobody else would. Um, he didn't turn us away like um, all the people were doing. And he gave my brother the extra little spark he needed in his mind because my brother was to the point where he couldn't even move. He couldn't even talk. And he gave my little brother so much. And the Arvizo family suddenly have decided that Michael had molested Gavin. <clears throat> Gavin came to Michael and said, Michael, can we sleep in your room tonight? And Michael, Michael looked at me and says, I don't know, you, you know, I think you better ask your mother. Oh, we already asked our mother. She says, sure, no problem. I'm like, no, this is so, something's odd. This is not right. And then as I was about to go tell Gavin that he cannot sleep in Michael's room, Michael says, okay, I have a solution for this. You have to sleep in the room with me. The two children slept on the bed and Michael and I slept on the floor. Very interesting Robin in all of these pages, hundreds of pages, many many hours of investigation going to the Philippines, going to Chicago, going all over the country. There's not one scrap of evidence that Michael Jackson ever harmed a child, did anything wrong, committed any crime. It's almost a vindication when you look at this. The FBI looked at all of these matters and said there's nothing here. So there's the second accuser debunked. That's wild. They praise him crying, saying that he's saved their their family and the, he did. And the boy's life. So saved him. <laughs> they, yeah. I, it's, I don't know. It's like uh, anybody. You, you help them out. Mm -hmm. You know, you help them, you help them, you help them. And then you're like, hey, you know, I got to stop help, helping you. And they're like, you've never done anything for me. <laughs> and then they think of ways to... to the fuck yeah. Screw you over, no, no, no. sons of bitches. Yeah, now all of a sudden, now, you know, they know uh, they got they could just say that he touched them and there's your money. Everybody wants easy money, you know. No one wants to earn it. Nah, yes, sir. I want money the hard way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what do you think of the second accuser? Pieces of shit, scumbags. I'll okay. spit in your face. All right, well, uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I don't know. Like you're you're showing me some some bullshit, man. I feel like these some people stuff that they didn't <clears throat> put in that documentary. They I didn't, didn't put I, any of the stuff in the documentary. I didn't watch the documentary, so I don't know. But uh, well, I just I mean I remember watching the news and all that shit back in the day, and it seemed like you know that's what it seemed yeah. like. That's, yeah, they, I believed it too. And the news doesn't lie. Butt ass naked. 
took pictures of yeah, me. Dude. That that's <laughs> he wanted, they took pictures of my penis and jeez. Yeah. I'd be pissed. Alright, well, here's some, uh, both of these actors that we're going to see right here hung out with Michael Jackson when they were young, and Corey Feldman actually dressed like Michael Jackson, like looked like him. One gentleman in the industry who did not take advantage of you, he was not a pedophile, you said it was Michael Jackson. Other kids have come forward when he was alive. You know, I mean, he was a god to people, and to me, he was, you know, I knew he was a pop singer, but beyond that, you know, I didn't, I wasn't one of the fans, and I think that's one of the reasons why we connected. You know, they go, oh, you slept in the same bedroom as him, and it's like, I don't think you understand, Michael Jackson's bedroom is two stories, <laughs> and it has like, like three bathrooms, and this and that, so when I slept in his bedroom, yeah, but you have to understand the whole scenario and the thing is with Michael is that he's not very good at explaining himself and he never really has been because he's not a very social person I mean he's you're talking about someone who's been sheltered and sheltering himself also for the last like 30 years or you know and so he's not very good at communicating to people and not very good at conveying what he's actually trying to say to you and so when he says something like that you know people you know he doesn't quite understand why people react the way that they do why do you think he likes young people so. it's because it, it's the same reason why he liked me was the fact that i didn't care who he was that was the thing i talked to him like he was a normal human being and that's what and, and kids do that to him because he's not i mean he's michael jackson the pop singer but he's not the god of you know the king of pop or anything like that he's just you know a guy who's actually very kid like himself and wants to go out there and wants to play video games with you 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 video games Kevin McAllister. Who would have known? Any thoughts about that? We're going to go into Wade Robinson now, the guy that's accusing him in the documentary. <clears throat> Do you believe Kevin McAllister? Um, meh. I don't know. It's hard for me to believe any celebrity anymore. He was home alone. Twice. <laughs> Twice. Yeah, but you pull all, see all the slick shit he pulled off, man? If, if somebody's going to lie to you, it's going to be him. Uh, you got, you he know. didn't lie. He, he had a defense. Bro, yeah. are you kidding me? All, all the shit he did in New York on his dad's credit card? That's what I'm saying. That, do you think he'd let Michael Jackson do something to him when he fucked up those criminals like that? <laughs> exactly. On his dad's credit card? <laughs> <laughs> that was Dude, what did his dad do for a living, bro? I saw that meme. What the oh, fuck did his dad do for a living? Rich, that big-ass that. house, that credit card that got him the fucking room at the Four Seasons. Said hi to Trump on the way in. Remember that? Vacation to France. Bro. For, like, like 14 people. That dude was balling for out like of control, For, like, 14 man. people? Yeah, he paid for the whole thing, too. Yeah, the, that the dude uncle, was balling. Dude, was like, all, all them pizzas? All them pieces, you know what them pieces was cost right now? Like three hundred oh, bucks. Lord. He even Wild, says it, bro. So still, I'm just saying. He's either right. a cartel, <laughs> a part of the cartel, right? Or he's a banker, or something like that. He's. I'm in finance. <laughs> Hi, I'm a bank teller. <laughs> he told me to say I was in finance. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, shit. So funny. <laughs> All right, here's this uh, piece of shit. You two in particular would not be coming out because your stories have changed. You defended him, and now you, you're, you're telling a different story, and that if you were alive, you would not be doing that. My belief is that we'd still be doing this. Of course, some details may be different. Some details may be different. How you doing, Wade? Hey, why did you wait so long to come out about the story? You guys are here. No more comments. No more comments. Where are you, you going to talk about it? You say you can't talk to me about it now? Is it true that you're moving to Hawaii? So you have nothing to say like to fans who say that you're just doing this for money? 
has adamantly denied under oath and in numerous interviews over the past 20 years that Michael Jackson ever did anything inappropriate to him. Now he wants us to believe that he committed perjury at least twice and has been lying to anyone and everyone about Mr. Jackson since the early 1990s so he can file a claim for money. Mr. Robson's transparent lawsuit comes nearly four years after Michael passed. His claim is outrageous and sad. Jermaine Jackson, Michael's brother, said Wade Robson is full of and then used an expletive. Mm -hmm. What's your response? I understand completely how hard it is to understand this. Um, that being said, if you're going to be accused, absolutely. you're going to say you, you defended Michael Jackson while he was alive because he was good for your career. Mm -hmm. And now that he's gone, there's an opportunity here to sue his estate. He can't defend himself and get money. Why didn't you go to the lawyers and do this quietly? And try to, to settle some, right. make some kind of a deal. Right. I understand how confusing it is to understand, you know, how hard it is to understand. I get that. But um, all it takes is a little bit of education into child sexual abuse and realizing how unfortunately typical my scenario is. The trauma and the psychological effects of child sexual abuse last for so long. You know, I had no understanding of this until up to just over a year ago. And I'm just at the beginning of my healing process. I'm sure I'll be dealing with this for the rest of my life. My life. There wasn't one piece of information that says I did that. And anyway, they turned my room upside down, went through all my books, all my videotapes, what? all my private things, and they found nothing, nothing, nothing that can say Michael Jackson did this. A maid for Michael Jackson, who worked at Neverland, received $20,000 more than she annually earned at the time to lie about seeing Jackson showering at Neverland with a kid. She later admitted in court that this never happened and was sued by Michael himself, by which he won. More of these accusers, along with their kids, lied for money, but then later admitted that Michael never molested them. Michael Jackson was innocent, and to this day, no evidence has ever been found to prove Michael did anything these accusers stated. So he wasn't a show mall. He just cared about children. Very odd character, but not a pedo. Here's Michael helping the children. Be like children, mm -hmm. to love children, to be as pure as children are, mm -hmm. and to make yourselves as innocent and see the world through eyes of, of wonderment and, and the whole magical quality of it all. And I love that. that. And there are built inside the walls here beds. <laughs> beds for some of those sick children who come and what I realized when I saw that is that you have to be a person who really cares about children to build it into your architecture yes yes we have children that come who are uh, intravenously they're, they're very sick and they're bedridden and they can't sit up right they can't sit up and these beds they're hospital beds mm -hmm. you push a button they move up and they move down and they're able to watch we have a magic show we show the current films if it's cartoons anything mm -hmm. you know and anything so they can escape to that world of magic that they don't get a chance to experience he would not take a dime from his own concert he would give it back to children and no one cares about that. Oh, that's whatever. No, that's amazing. I mean, again, outside looking in, that's awesome. Who the fuck does that for children? Nobody gives a fuck, though. People care about children, but then they don't when they hear stuff like that. So he would do these things, and, and they hated that about him. You have to understand, they hated it. They're, here are these demons running the world that want to steal children and drink their blood, and here's this the most powerful celebrity in the world that's supposed to be on their team, completely against them, and they're, he's saving children. Well, fuck him. Just say he's fucking them. Just say he's fucking them. Um, and we'll throw it on the news. We own the news. And we told them not to make that song. Fuck it. We're going to put it out. They put it out. The rest is history. But what I think happened from that point on where he didn't even feel like leaving his house because all these people were judging him. He didn't even do anything wrong. There you go. <laughs> Well, he was, <clears throat> was that the guy from It's Always Sunny? No. No, he doesn't look like him. He's you know what I'm talking Oprah. about, though, huh? She's one of the biggest yeah. child sex, sex traffickers. He was He's, interviewed by Oprah. Yeah? Once. Right. Were you ever interviewed by Oprah? No. All right, then. 
Fuck that horror. See the difference? <laughs> that was actually his first interview in years, too. So the... Who knows if Oprah was a baby-eating pedophile back then? What color is blood inside your skin? Blue. It's the color purple. We're not talking about Prince. <laughs> She wants what to drink your blood. To do with anything? She wants. She wants to drink your blood. Color purple. There, she made a movie. She was in a movie called Color Purple. Thank you, David. And then she remade the movie <clears throat> Color Purple. David's here to connect the dots for you today, Joe. Jesus. All up. right. So the profile stuff is done. Okay. Overall, do you think he was a chomo or he just cared about kids? You asking me or David? Whoever wants to speak up first. David already thinks he was innocent, unless he changed his mind through all this, which would be weird. That would be heavy fucking uh, David. <laughs> I still think he's innocent. Okay, he's based a very odd character. Based on the evidence before us, um, from what I've seen today, I would say that his accusers, the ones before us that you showed us here today, uh, are fucking liars. There you go. Amen. Proud of you, D. And that doesn't mean he never touched should, a kid. They should be prosecuted, in my eyes. I think, like, they sh- I think they they should be prosecuted. They should. Like, no, that's fucked up. And especially if they didn't do it, and they're like using, uh, you know, <clears throat> basically other children's trauma. Or, like, yeah, they, that's what I'm always talking like, yeah. I'm going to be dealing with it. That's that's so fucked up on so many levels. So even talk uh, about that if you've never been through it. That was the one thing that actually had me almost believing him is how he kind of described that because, I mean, there is a lot of trauma that comes along with being molested as a child. So, could I mean, yes, that was the one believable thing he said, but everything he said before that was all. Listen, I know it's difficult to understand understanding this. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, get okay, bro, okay, yeah. But anyways. What was I going to say? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, did Michael Jackson die of of just natural doctor fucking with his drugs? Or was he killed? Yeah, they gave him a bunch of fucking sedatives, right? Yeah, but was it the doctor doing it on accident? Or was it them killing him on purpose? Only the doctor knows that. Michael Jackson... Made a song called They Don't Care About Us. Have you ever heard it? Oh, yeah. They don't ever care about That's us. Yeah. yeah. Here's uh, supposedly Michael Jackson. Hold on. Like... Can, you, can you play that song or will we be taken down? No, it'll be taken down. <laughs> but uh, What if we sing it? Go ahead. I don't know the words. <laughs> All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. He meant that shit. Do oh, me, sue me. You can screw me. That, you that fucking literally... nailed it, bro. Did I? Yeah. Nice. The motherfucking right. Catalina wine mixer. Tired of, they start out the most popular person in the world, make a lot of money, big house, cars, and everything, end up with painless. It is conspiracy that you do it on purpose. Uh, Jew me, sue me, kick me, kike me. Those are the words that he told us that he would never use again. Now, I have a, a I have a, a a CD that he sent me with the words eliminated. Why couldn't he do the same thing in Brazil? So, he, his American version said "Jew me, screw me," <clears throat> the kike thing, and then in Brazil he put out the real version. Why is he saying this? Because Jews run the entertainment industry, and they were fucking him all the time. Wait, what did they? Zionist. What did what did the one in uh, Brazil say? Professor. Jew me, screw me, you or Jew me, sue me, you can never screw me. Um, something kike me, don't you black and white me? What did the one in America say? It just bleeped it out, like it, uh, it just made like a noise. Wow. Yeah, I gotta I gotta hear this song. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's definitely something that somebody's gonna be pissed about. That's yeah. for sure. So they try to they try to totally screw him, and and he 
we'll go into another video where he explains other stuff. But yeah, so that could be a reason why they wanted him dead or wanted to road his entire career. Um, here's his sister, Latoya. You were going to say something? Okay. You've been quoted as saying you, you believe it may have been murdered. Do you still think that? Absolutely. Why, Absolutely. Why are you I so would sure? never, ever think differently. Because first of all, Michael told me that they were going to murder him. He was afraid. He was, was afraid for was his life. The people that were involved in his life, the people that were controlling him. This book, Starting Over, is about my life. And it's about Michael's life. It's the parallel between the two of our lives. We share that same life where people come into your life, wiggle their way in, control you, manipulate, control your funds, your finances, everything that you have, and you must do what they tell you to do. And that's what Michael was going through. And he knew that everything that was happening to him was not kosher, it wasn't right, and it, it disturbed him greatly. And he kept saying it over and over and over again. Yes, Dr. Murray was the fall guy, but it's more to it than just that. He named names. He told me people. He told me to be careful of this one and that one. This is a, a rapper. Uh, Hold probably on. Probably going to get his name wrong. Yeah. Why didn't she, Why didn't she just say the names, or she, she put it in the book so she could make money? She might have put it in the book, but she's on Pierce Morgan. She probably doesn't want to get murdered, so she didn't say the names. <clears throat> Those are, th these people that they're talking about have. Fuck you, money! Like money that we can't even fathom. Yeah, I got fuck you, money. That's not that, that type of fuck you, money. They they can literally have, they have the type of money, you know. And if Michael Jackson really wanted to uh, be a pervo, he could have just literally bought kids and had them sex tra or trafficked all the way over here so he could do whatever he wants. When you have that type of money, you do whatever you want. Nobody's Where, there. Yeah, but to what, stop you. Where's the sport in that? If I know one thing about Michael George Jackson, he likes Jordan. the challenge. <laughs> he wants it the hard way. He doesn't want to buy him. He wants to earn that championship. My gosh. Here's a rapper. I think it's Raheem Jackson or some shit. This dude they put in jail for telling the truth about a whole bunch of shit. I'll put his real name. You can't over tell the, video. the truth about shit, man. I can't Go to jail. His name right now. Michael Jackson was killed because he was going to go on a world tour talking about they don't really care about him, right? Singing all his classic songs Bring that was always together. against him. Michael Jackson was always against him. The, the Villa Lago shit was lies. They injected him with a disease and then they, then they slaughtered his image. They tried to kill Michael Jackson in 1984 when they set his fucking hair on fire at the fucking Pepsi commercial. People forget that. That was an assassination attempt. It didn't work. So what they did, they killed his image. Michael Jackson spent the rest of his life being looked at as somebody that's trying to be white because they hit, they injected him with the disease and that he was this pedophile slash rapist. That's how we looked at Mike all the way till he left this motherfucker. Destroyed his whole legacy. It wasn't until he left that people remember, like, oh, that's Mike and what he did. And then he went back and listened to what he was thinking about and what he was trying to say and why they attacked him like that. Because we wasn't as woke as we are today. That's facts. When other... When anybody is able to have, uh, they can bring unity uh, amongst uh, everybody, they're, they're, they're done. They get killed. Or they destroy their image. Like, literally, he could have <clears throat> brought people together, you know. And, and you know, see, what I think of Michael Jackson, that last tour, he would have probably been that guy. Like, you know, they don't care about us. We need to come together. And that's definitely something they would kill him over. They did it to, um, think about it, uh, uh, Martin MLK. Luther King Jr., uh, all these guys. If they actually can actually bring people together and unite the masses, no. That, they definitely killed this guy. Yeah, 100%. that's the most dangerous thing to to the, uh, these, the top tier government people, right? Is Hell the yeah. United States of American citizens coming together? Because if if we're ever not divided, they're, they're done, bro. They're done. One hundred percent. Tupac was bringing peace to the Bloods and the Crips <clears throat> all over the nation, all over the country. What happened to him? Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell. They're going to do a documentary about human trafficking. What happened to them? Nipsey Hussle was about to do a documentary on Dr. Sevy. To make people healthier. He had a huge following. What happened to him? Yeah. 
This is Michael Jackson talking about how he owned half of Sony when he left Sony. Why would they want to kill him? Several billion dollars for Sony. Several billion. And um, they, they really thought that my mind is always on music and dancing. And, I, and it usually is. But they never thought that this performer myself would outthink them. Now I'm a free agent. I just owe Sony one more album. It's just a box set, really. With two new songs, which I've written ages ago. <laughs> So I'm leaving Sony a free agent, owning half of Sony. I own half of Sony's publishing, and, and I'm leaving them, and they're very angry at me because of it, but um, I just did good business, you know? The way they get revenge is to try and destroy my album. So he owned half of Sony. That means every single artist that Sony has, he'd get 50% of their earnings. I don't know who's on Sony, but Taylor Swift. Just think of the huge star, huge singers, and he'd get half of that. He owned the entire Beatles catalog too. Yeah, dude, That's why that dude dead. Does his family still get that money? That's that's what I was Apparently doing. they screwed with his will. I don't have any anything on that will, but they screwed with his will too. After he died. <clears throat> That's definitely interesting. Very, very interesting. Now you guys heard about the new shit. About P. Diddy and shit, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. No Diddy. There's P-diddle. connections. P. Diddles. Exactly. It's his new name. All right. So P. Diddy, uh, that whole thing that's happening. This uh, he has a connection to Michael Jackson. <clears throat> How so? Michael Jackson's okay. whole life story in a whole new light. So this new lawsuit just came out that shows tons of evidence that P. Diddy, Puff Daddy has been running a sexual blackmail operation very much like Jeffrey Epstein, but in the rap and music industry for basically 30 years. And in that lawsuit, we learned that his head of security while he's running the sexual blackmail ring is this guy named Fahim Muhammad, who before working for Diddy was the head of security for Michael Jackson when he was only 21. And he was one of the first people on the scene when Michael Jackson died. And before we go to Michael Jackson, the most important part of the Diddy case to bring across is the fact that the record executives at the very top knew what P. Diddy was doing. They were attending the parties with underage girls where they were spiking drinks. They were deeply involved in Diddy's personal life. And all evidence points to them supporting his operation. Starting in 1993, Michael Jackson was repeatedly accused of inappropriate things with children. And most of us eventually took that story and were like, okay, that's messed up. Michael Jackson's a bad dude without necessarily taking into account the way that the press had been smearing him in really messed up ways for years. But the Diddy lawsuit directly points out and reminds us that the people that own the record companies also own the media publishing businesses that can print the tabloids. But when you actually look into the evidence, the FBI were investigating Jackson for 10 full years and they presented no evidence of criminal conduct on Jackson's part. The files have been declassified and you can view them yourself. They include a raid of his home where they confiscated all electronics. This is their ID number that you'll see. We're talking computers, hard drives, cell phones, where they say the amount of gigabytes. And then following are pages like this where they have the ID of the different devices and they all say nothing. But that didn't stop the press from running made up stories about how secret FBI files revealed that Jackson had paid millions in hush money to dozens of boys he had abused, despite the FBI files directly negating that statement. And he wound up with this guy who has direct connections to Diddy's sexual blackmail operations, who was directly complicit in covering up crimes for Diddy and covering up murders, covering up drug use, prostitution, human trafficking. This is the guy that was protecting Michael Jackson the day that he died. What'd you think about that? What'd you think about that? Could he have been like the first murder for P. Diddy? Michael Jackson? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, I don't know how P. Diddy, I mean, why would he want, why would yeah, Diddy want? Got a, what's he got against him? Because Diddy was running the movie, he was a Jeffrey Epstein in the music industry, so. Oh, could have sent him in there as a, as an op. Yeah. Could. Could have. I mean, they proved that that guy was covering up murders and all kinds of shit for Diddy. Mm. So now Diddy, <clears throat> we've Diddy. discovered, His name's killed Daddy. fucking Michael Jackson, too. And all these things. And now he's killing MJ. Bastard. We need to get this Bastard. fucking guy. He's killed two of the greatest musicians ever. If not three of them. If not three. 
He might have had something to do with Tupac. He's in the business. Yeah. But I don't the think government. Well, the, well, P. Diddy worked for the government. They proved that. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, my goodness. For real? I didn't hear that. They, they, they probably groomed him, taught him everything that he knows, and literally, he's their guy. He, You don't just learn how to manipulate uh, people like that unless you have some some fucking weirdos. Uh, like, no, usually those fucking weirdos that are like Diddy are those billionaires, trillionaires, have all that money, super duper wealthy. When I say that he had something to do with the government, they proved it. I'm just using the connections of there's six corporations that run the run the world and the CIA runs Hollywood and the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry is what Puffy was the head of the Epstein type. So if you fucking connect the dots, it was the government that Puff Daddy worked for. Yeah. If uh, you have uh, if you're working for them and they prove that like you have immunity to do whatever the fuck you want. Like there's mobsters, uh, there's that boss, there's a Boston mobster, uh, forgot his name, but he was able to commit tons of crimes, literally going up and shooting people with shotguns right in the middle of the street. Whitey like, Bulger? No, yeah, Whitey, yep, yeah, yeah. Able to do whatever he wants uh, until they until they stopped it. But he was killing people right in the streets. It's a hero, Mike. That's why he was able to get away with it because he working with the government. Childhood hero. Yeah, they don't care about us. <laughs> All I really know is they, they don't really care about us. Nope. The government doesn't. That's, That's for damn sure. Check that out. Yeah. So, um, oh, there's another theory to this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what is it? Is Michael Jackson really dead? <laughs> Him, Tupac, Biggie. Are you saying? Are you saying Elvis. he might be alive? Yes. I mean, I don't know, but there's a bunch of evidence to it, so we're gonna go over some of that now. What if he puts out an album soon? Here's the. Well, Tupac comes out with albums every year, so I don't. <laughs> um, here is a corn. The coroner van that Michael Jackson was supposedly in. The. Oh. The day he died. This is a German reporter following him in. If you don't, if you don't moonwalk out of that bitch, it ain't him. <laughs> so they're saying that's him walking. Yeah. So I want to point out first that look at this guy. Put his hand up. Notice what hand he puts up when the van pulls up. This dude coming out from the right, right here. <clears throat> Saw that with his left hand. You didn't. Nope. I got to make it bigger. Hold on. Let me make my screen bigger. Okay. Good? Yep. All right, so check out this guy walking and put up his left hand. See that? Yeah. All right. So this German reporting company was like, no, 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 that was just a reenactment. Like, here's here's another angle of the of the reenactment that we shot from the side. What hand is up? The right hand. His right hand. So, why is a German reporting company saying, no, 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 that was bullshit. That's not real. It's not really him getting out of the corner van. Why would that happen? I don't know, Joseph. Why don't you tell us why that So, basically, they tried to debunk the video of him getting out of the corner (laughs) van, saying it wasn't him, using another video. So, they basically went back and shot the whole thing. To debunk that that could be Michael Jackson getting out of the van. Is what right. I'm saying. That's fucking weird. Which is weird. Like I'm saying, I don't know if Michael Jackson's alive. There's just a lot of people that I think he, he's alive. I think he's definitely dead. They killed, um, killed his ass. They <laughs> killed his ass. Uh, they definitely wanted to kill him. But there's some people that think Michael Jackson faked his death before they could kill him. I mean, if you have all the money in the world, right? And you, you just... That's the way to go, man. Yeah. That's the fucking way to go. Nobody bothers you ever again. You just... Here's 
here's some evidence that he faked his death. That not they didn't fake it for him. That he faked his death. Shit, I don't even have all the money in the world. I'm ready to fake my own death. Don't do that. I said fake it. Where's my co-host? Who's gonna be my co-host? You got David. He doesn't want to do it. He works too much. Bro. I don't have the fuck you money like you. <laughs> He's like, I work too much. I'm putting in 60 some hours a week, bro. Yeah, right. It's awful. It's working like 39 Hope you ain't salary. Week. Fuck you both. I am salary. Are you salary? <laughs> yes. Fuck that. I ain't, I'm working 40 hours. Then go fuck themselves after that. You know, they, uh, my my uh, company got sued because I was working like 60 plus hours a week on salary and somebody created a, a lawsuit and I actually won. So, How much did so, they win? Uh, I got like six grand over it. I wasn't going to join it because I didn't want to get fired and then I just said, uh, fuck it. I got six grand from it. Oh shit. So, Hmm. So, hmm. you know, but <laughs> it, it it working sixty hours here or there on salary is not bad because you gotta d- develop a team, you know. But if they're abusing you. That's terrible. But back to MJ. You know? Here's some evidence that he faked his own death. This is it. It is directed by Michael Jackson's longtime friend and collaborator, Kenny Ortega. Kenny, thanks for coming in Thank this you. morning. Good morning. How Good many morning. hours of stuff did you have to work with? Uh, we had about 80 plus hours that we sifted through and and uh, that, 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 you know, uh, ultimately became, uh, you know, s- uh, the film. Right. As you were trying to figure out what to use, what was your guiding principle? Every day I woke up, I just you know, brought Michael into the room with me, you know. Uh, we lived in the editing room for weeks, seven days a week, and uh, and just really thought about the fans and what they were looking for out of the project. What? I'll continue. Right. I got to see 12 minutes of it mm. yesterday. And the thing that struck me as I looked at it was this man is so much alive. And I'm going to. All right. Before I continue, what, what what's the first thing that goes to your head there? Because like I said, this was never supposed to be a movie. So why would Michael Jackson be involved in picking out the scenes for the movie? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I'll give you more context. This Is It was a documentary that came out after Michael Jackson died. Before he died, he was in the Staples Center rehearsing for the concert, the tour that was going to happen. This what Is was It concert. What's the name concert. of his tour? This okay. Is It. Yeah. So after he died, they made the documentary This Is It, and they used all this behind-the-scenes footage, and they compiled it all together after he died because they're like, oh, let's come up with one more thing that we can give the public. But if he died and it wasn't meant to be a movie... How was Michael Jackson in the editing room with the director mm-hmm. picking out the clips to use yeah. if it wasn't supposed to be a movie? I don't know. I still think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is uh, the guy you see on your screen right now. This is Dave Dave. His father poured gasoline on his face and lit him on fire when he was a kid. To try and make and him look like Michael? <laughs> kind of does. Um, so Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson paid for this kid's medical bills and all this shit, and he was friends with him up until like for like twenty years because the kid was seven. This dude's twenty seven now, and Michael Jackson paid for all his hospital bills. And sorry, sorry, Dave, Dave. I no, 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 because it's gonna make sense that you just said that because I get it. Um. So this is after Michael Jackson died, and this is Dave Dave doing an interview on Larry King Live. And, uh, yeah. That's actually... Getting suspicious, most fans thought that the person on the program was definitely Michael Jackson. They were not wrong in their thinking. Beautiful eyes. Because there was an obvious difference between the real Dave and the person on the program. Their facial expressions, shoulder width, voice, and eyes were very different. That son of a bitch. Michael Jackson's playing a burn victim. (laughs) 
Was that so, a large amount of the confines? My father has been criminality. To the yeah. media about he, he is Apparently, a criminal and he information was leaked. Uh, himself from the confines of my father's criminality. Yeah. He, he is a criminal and he... Uh, there's crowds and bumper to bumper cars and it's all over. It's, the girl is mine and you know this and that. There's crowds and bumper to bumper cars and it's all over. It's, the girl is mine and you know this and that. This tree that I had at Neverland and brought me up to Neverland. Neverland. It's Neverland. Neverland. It's Neverland. Neverland. It's Neverland. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, my shoulder. My shoulder learned about me and know about me from a distance he heard about me and he had contacted me and wanted to meet me learned about me and know about me from a distance he heard about me and he had contacted me learned about me and know about me from a distance he heard about me and he had contacted me this is one of me because it's creeping me out. Have a place. It's creeping me out. And it was kept a secret. Like I don't like either one of their faces. <laughs> that I, that I never had as a child. No offense, Dave Dave. So you see kind rides, you see animals. animals. There's a movie a theater. Fan, per se. I was always on but tour. I always loved his music. Traveling. His eyes looked a lot like Michael Jackson's. He sounded just like Michael Jackson. His fans were starting to believe that Michael Jackson was alive now. That's exactly what Michael wanted because Michael's fans were very upset about Michael's death. There were even reports that some of his fans had ended their own lives. Michael was on live TV doing crazy action. He wanted to relieve their sadness by giving a message to his fans that he was alive. That's why he was looking nervously at the camera as if he was saying, I'm here, I'm alive. He had no doubt that his fans would recognize him. Did it sound eh. like him? Meh. Eh. Meh. Eh. That was a little far-fetched for me. What do you think, Dave? I think he's dead, but it definitely makes you think a little bit. You know? Yeah. Wait, but... we're supposed to be thinking? Usually on this show, that's what I require, bud. <laughs> you should have told me that fucking 22 episodes ago, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so starting at, like, the Alien episode... Okay. You know we have, like, this is, like, the 34th episode, right? I'm just saying. 35th. This is the 35th episode. Every week. I haven't missed a week, bud. We're going to hit 52. Uh, yeah, we are. We're going we're gonna to hit way more than that. I'm just saying we're going to hit 52. Are you going to quit after 52? I might hang it up, man. Might Kobe this bitch. COVID this bitch? Kobe. 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 Oh, I was going to say, you're going to be imaginary? Kobe. Who knows if he's dead? Uh, so here's. <laughs> hell? No, nah, I already proved that they killed him. The helicopter and all that shit. Anyway, uh, here's some more evidence that he could still be <clears throat> alive. I think you want him to be alive. Um, no, huh. I just know he wasn't. I know he wasn't a chomo, and I know uh, if he was killed, it was by the scumbags. I feel if he's country. alive, he's definitely a chomo. Oh, Dave takes a turn. They're not going to let him live. That's why I say he's dead. Those type of people don't let you live, no matter what. He's got enough money to... They have a lot more money. They have enough money, but he's got enough money to stop him. I don't know. I don't know, but here's more evidence. Here's the court of the the doctor that uh, supposedly killed him. So here's uh, the judge who's on IMDb. He's got a nice resume on IMDb, by the way. Uh, really? So here's the judge. Yes. Here's the judge. Notice anything standing out in the courtroom yet? Is that OJ Simpson? Uh, Look by the Z in TMZ. What is that? It's a white rabbit. It's a stuffed animal. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Follow the white. Now, listen, follow the white rabbit. But how do you have. How is that allowed in the courtroom? That's all. Just even one stuffed animal. How? That doesn't yeah. make it. Get that shit out of my courtroom. Courtroom. Beep. So, I know it's blurry. 
and do whatever you can <laughs> or pause it if you're watching this show and count them yourself or go look at it yourself on your own computer. It might be less blurry. If you count, this is the real courtroom of Conrad Murray. Every single day during that court trial, we would, me and my ex roommate that we, we lived together, we knew this was a hoax and we counted them every time. Every single time it was what, 31 stars? However many stars are on the California state seal. It's the 31st state. Okay, so there'd be 31 stars. If this one's fake. This is a studio and I'll show you. You could watch Lindsay Lohan's trial, OJ Simpson, or just a no-namer, or walk into a fucking courtroom. There's 31 stars on every California state seal, period. That's legal, yeah, it's a legal courtroom. Michael Jackson at 32. Yeah, on Michael Jackson's album cover, his, his album right after he passed away. Here's the extra star, because he had an extra star in his courtroom same color and here's the wallpaper behind the state seal that they chose now i know it's a stretch but again this is the album right after this came out so right after the trial right after the exposure that this courtroom is is bullshit michael jackson drops a new album called michael and it has randomly in a bubble a star right next to the wallpaper you see the background the stripes of yeah. this of the courtroom right yeah. here and there's the extra star he put an extra star on the state seal. So again, weird analogy. I get it. It's kind of a yeah. It's kind of a stretch, but not for me. It's not for me. It's it's right in plain sight. He's these these are the games that he's been playing since 2009. There's millions of them. Oh, you guys ready for the verdict of the trial? Listen to the choice of words, and remember, to me, this is a fake studio set. So of course they would do this. This is for Conrad Murray. We. Oui. The jury in the above entitled action find the defendant, Conrad Robert Murray, guilty of the crime of involuntary manslaughter in violation of Penal Code Section 192, subsection B, alleged victim. Did she just say alleged victim? Hmm. Hmm. Michael Joseph Jackson. Not his name, by the way. About to show you that in a second. That's not his name. Alleged date of June 25th. Alleged date? So he didn't die in that day. It's alleged? Hmm, never heard that. And I told it was a Johnny Woodward, Sam's guy said, never heard that before. You can't say that. 2009. Uh, I'm gonna answer one more because we got this question several times. Um, literally, someone wrote this question in about 4,000 times in the last 15 minutes. So here we go. Do you guys realize that Michael Jackson's legal name is Michael Joe Jackson? Yes. So the reason that people kept emailing them is because TMZ kept showing the court case and they're saying alleged victim, Michael Joseph Jackson. Well, that's not his middle fucking name. That's, that's not his middle name. His middle name is Joe. Now I get that people can go, well, it's similar. It doesn't matter. His birth name, his social security card, his driver's license, his passport, everything about him is Michael Joe Jackson, that's his name, but his death certificate and in the courtroom, they say alleged victim of a Michael Joseph Jackson. Well, that's not his fucking name. And that's why people kept emailing TMZ like, you guys know that's not his name. And they know, they're like, yeah, we know. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it for Team Live today. We will see you back here tomorrow. What do you guys think so far? He's going to go through and show you the documents that it's Michael Joe, okay. Michael Joe, Michael Joe. Okay, cool. I mean, I think sometimes people fuck up, but I'm not saying that. His death certificate? Right. I'm saying people fuck up sometimes. That's all. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying it's a possibility. They could have fucked up. It's a death certificate, bro. They take it from the birth certificate. They're going to put, they're going to see it says Joe on the birth certificate and then change it to Joseph on the death certificate. That doesn't make any sense. I wasn't there, dude. Like, what do you want? What do you want no, from me, I'm, I'm, Joseph? Look, that's his driver's license. Says Joe. What do you guys think about the courtroom with thirty-two stars? What do you think about? I feel like they're reaching. The death for certificate, something. birth certificate. They're reaching. Yeah, I'm but trying. what about all the stuff put together? Well, they definitely can create a studio. He's definitely got that type of money. Definitely can. Definitely has that type of money. You know. But, yeah. He also, I didn't say this earlier, he gave $750 million total mm -hmm. to 
help children with diseases and shit and help them get healthy and so if he didn't give a shit about kids and was diddling them, why would he do that? Anyway. All right, here's the last thing that he could be alive. Here's a guy that's always with Michael Jackson's family. When I say family, I mean son and daughter and, and nephews. There's his daughter, Paris. And there's his son, um, uh, I forgot his name, Prince. And there's, I think, the cousin. Who's this guy? Let me hit play. Multiple photos coming. Don't know who this guy is. Definitely looks like he's in disguise. Um, again, this guy is always with Michael Jackson's son. Always holding his hand. Looks like Freddie same Cooper. height, same lankiness. Um, these are pretty recent, guys. Last few years. Um, you know, am I going to sit here and tell you that's Michael Jackson in disguise? No. I am going to tell you that it's very strange that some guy that's no, I've never seen. I've been researching this since 2009, and I know a lot about Michael before that. Come on, look at this one. That's Michael Jackson's little dance movie does. So, again, it's just strange. That's all. I'm going to chuck it up as whoever this guy is that's always with their family present day. It's very strange uh, that I've never heard of him before. Um, and I, and I don't really know what to make of it. I mean, it's got the same attire usually, you know, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Wow. That's, I didn't know that. That's all I'm saying. Well, all I'm saying is that it, the guy right look, on the right, that looks the like a mask right, to the me. The guy on the right. With yeah. the glasses. He yes. doesn't have those same. It's all I'm saying is gorgeous eyes. Michael if has. People want to be like, it. well, where would he be now? Is he underground hiding? Like, no. I think I think he did outsmart them. If that really is him in body suits and coming out on Dave Dave and doing all this shit. What do you guys think about the photos? I think uh, MJ's still dead. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm with Dave on this. Okay. I think I'm I'm probably with you guys too. I don't know. I think he's dead because he was gonna unite the world. Bring us all together. We are. That's what I think Michael Jackson was. We recently did an episode on Q. And here's a little bit of evidence that he could be part of the Q team. And helping lock these mopkas up. The guy that you're going to see the interview for at the end of this is Robert David Steele. Um, the guy that looks like a judge. Robert David Steele. But anyway. Maybe we didn't look at the Q the way we're supposed to. Let's run this. I have a, a simple way of doing things. If I know something, I'll tell you. And if, 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 I'm, if I have a hunch, I'll tell you. But somebody who's very, very well placed um, within the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office um, sent me some information that suggests that one of the people that's been involved in this campaign to rid the world of child trafficking and child abuse um, might very well be a, a living, breathing Michael Jackson. Certainly raised my eyebrows Either and this you. came from somebody that worked within the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office That's back when uh, Michael Jackson was taken in. So I, I'm, I haven't had time to even look through all of this. There's a lot of stuff here, but I thought that was something interesting I might like to throw out to the audience. And if anybody else has anything uh, related to that, I would certainly be interested in that. I promise you, the best is yet to come. Yes! Oh, at his peak. He lived. In, he lives in one of your buildings. He lives in Trump Town. He has. A, you know, it started with the Pepsi Cola with the bomb that landed on his head and right. screwed him up, and right. it went on. And you know, Michael. It's a very tragic thing. Michael Jackson's a, a very smart, very good guy who truly has changed a lot for the record i knew michael jackson michael jackson was our neighbor in trump tower i used to play nintendo with michael jackson michael was a very very smart guy a lot of people don't realize that he was really smart i knew michael jackson very well i knew him better than probably almost anybody and then everybody commented on michael jackson i said to myself you know it's amazing they have no idea what they're talking about they knew nothing some of them never even met him and i sort of laughed at myself here they are they're talking about michael jackson they never met him and that's but, happening but she me. did so he could be part of the q team when we went over all that uh, in the other episode his logo for neverland ranch was the 
a kid inside of a swing and it was a queue. So a lot of people think that he might be involved in the whole taking down the whole Hollywood government pedophile ring, which we know is a real thing. All right, that's all I got. So, what do you think? You don't, you you didn't think he was a pedophile to begin with. Just sum up the whole video for us. Uh, Michael Jackson was innocent. He wanted to unite the the world, bring everybody together, and he wasn't a pedophile. And they killed him because uh, he because he wanted to bring everybody together. That's what I think. Okay. You don't think he you don't think he's alive though in part of Q or anything like that? You think he's dead? No. Okay. I definitely don't think that. What do you think, D? Uh I mean, after seeing all this, the way you make me feel. It's kinda like uh he was a smooth criminal, but he beat it. And uh you know, obviously all this information was a thriller. But you're so you're you're not alone, you know? And they don't really care about us. If you're white or black. Remember that. Okay, so you you didn't answer the question. You just said a bunch of Michael Jackson songs. I think I answered the question perfectly. What do you mean? No, you didn't. (laughs) Do you think he's a chobo? Do you think he's alive? Uh, And if you do think he's alive, do you think he's part of the Q team? I think he's dead. Uh, For sure, I think he's dead. After this, the things you showed me here, I, it'd be easy to say he, that they were lying. Yes. All right. Well, what do you guys think? Drop yeah. it in the comments below. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Comment so the algorithm will bump us up more. Make sure you check out Dave's OnlyFans. He's doing exclusive feet picks this month, half off. What is it? Doc 18? Is that your OnlyFans? That's exactly where it's at. <laughs> Look me up. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop supporting OnlyFans. Only feet. Get on Only Feet. What the fuck? Only feet. How's this nice. guy supposed to make money for his kids? He got 14 exactly. kids over there. Don't say that. And he claims. <laughs> Don't bring that into the universe. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, still nowhere to find you other than your OnlyFans? Just on OnlyFans. That's about it. All right. <laughs> you can find me on YouTube and uh, Instagram. Dan eats everything. And right here, obviously. Yeah. Or just check the screen at the end where I give you our handles and stuff. That thing there. Right. Okay. You going to say something? I was waiting for you. All right. Uh, love you guys. Godspeed. Love you guys. Godspeed. Uh, Godspeed. Burr, burr, burr. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. There have been many disgusting statements made recently concerning allegations of improper conduct on my part. These statements about me are totally false. As I have maintained from the very beginning, I am hoping for a speedy end to this horrifying, horrifying experience to which I have been subjected. At every opportunity, the media has dissected and manipulated these allegations to reach their own conclusions. I have been forced to submit to a dehumanizing and humiliating examination by the Santa Barbara County Sheriff on me, which allowed them to view and photograph my body, including my penis, my buttocks, my lower torso, thighs, and any other error that they wanted.